What is good YouTube names here and today we're going to be talking about the new rosters. Now there's been a lot of changes in the Call of Duty esports scene and a lot of things going down and it's all being announced right now and it's all practically for season 3. Everybody wants to have a good season 3 team because it's going to impact you know your last it's the last tournament of the game well not the last tournament but it's pretty much the last time you're going to be able to make a change for your team for the game. Um, we got season 3, Gfinity and the World Championship. Um, those are the last three major, major tournaments. Um, we got Dallas in a couple, in like two weeks. So that'll be able to, you know, give all these teams a practice. Like, not, I mean, it's a big land, so I don't want to call it a practice land. But it'll give all these teams, you know, that practice they need for the biggest tournaments. So um, that's why everybody was like really, really focused in on finding the team that they really wanted for these last couple tournaments. And uh, I think there's some pretty good rosters that have been uh, made. So, as you guys know, uh, NB announced their roster. It's Octane, Aqua, Cap, and Looney. Um, I think that'll be a solid squad. Uh, they got a nice AR in Octane. They got a smart sub player who fills gaps and does what needs to be done in J-Cap, a sub slayer in Looney, and then another sub slayer in Aqua who's also very talented at search. So, I think that was one of the smarter moves made by the pro teams. I think they made a very like logical, smart roster move. They got hungry players who wanted to win, and they got players, you know, they filled the roles that they need in this game, at least in my opinion. So, I think they'll be solid um they they waited a while to make their change though that that was like risky but um it paid off i think but we'll see in the league when uh it starts in about a week um the other roster that was just formed which i have a huge question mark over is elevate it's apathy saints slack and classic now i think that'll be a pretty good team depending on the day. And what I mean by that is they can either be very on or very off. Um, they have a bunch of streaky players. Like, I'll just break it down player by player. And keep in mind, this is all my opinion, but I play against these players all the time, so I feel like I have a, uh, a very good um, outlook on how the team is gonna perform. Apathy is a very streaky player. He'll either be the best player in the game or he'll just be very average. Uh, there's He's... Um, He's a good player to have on your team if you have very consistent players around him. See, that's why that team is kind of weird because Slack is kind of like Epi in the sense where he can be going off or he can just be average. So well, it'll be interesting to see how that team performs. I think um, Classic's probably the most consistent on that team. Um, Saints, again, is another question mark. He sometimes makes all the right plays and sometimes makes a lot of the wrong plays, which will cost your team a map. But... Um, I think they'll be good. If they're on, they'll definitely be outslaying any team they're playing against. Uh, they have the slaying power that they probably have a top three slaying team right now. <clears throat> at least in hardpoint, I think they're going to be like really dominant at hardpoint. Um, their search and destroyer is probably going to struggle a lot unless they just all run around in packs, which is probably what they're going to do. But uh, their search and destroyer is definitely going to struggle. And with the new format, I believe there are three searches in the best of seven at playoffs. But I can't. I could be wrong on that. But I'm fairly sure there's three searches. But yeah, so. As you can see, um, a lot of you guys can uh, probably assume that that team is going to be kind of like maniac when they play. But we'll see how it turns out. I mean, I hope they're good. I'm friends with all of them. But uh, yeah, I just don't think they have a very strong battle player. Um, now, going down the list, um, obviously our change. Uh, we, I talked about this in the last video. We picked up TJ. We're like the first team to make our like quick change. Um, we just wanted a positive vibe. Another good teammate who was just on the same page as us, who just wants to win. And <clears throat> I feel like we're just gonna be that kind of that like underdog team that just coasts through the league that nobody really says anything about, nobody really talks about. And then we get to the playoffs and we play really well. Um, I think that's just gonna be this team. I've never really been on a team like this. I've always been on either like the team that everybody's looking at. Or a team that uh, is uh, like people are watching because we're raging, or a team that is just complete underdog. Those are the only three types of teams I've been on. I've never been on a team where everybody's like, yeah, they're pretty good. They're, you know, I mean, like the average. I've never been on that. And um, I, I want to make it so we're going to be just a solidified top tier, top four team. Um, we got fourth at X Games, and with possibly the worst chemistry I've ever had in a team, um, with Parasite, I mean, just straight up, we weren't. Uh, clicking as a team we were just all didn't like playing together and I hated being on that and we got fourth so I think with TJ we could definitely be a top four solidified team easily top three um, I know we can beat these teams like when I play against these players I know that I'm just better and I feel like I can be winning like in this game so I'm really pumped to play and get on track we haven't been able to play because of some things that have been happening we got really unlucky but I just really want to start playing with the squad and just trying to get better and perform and go hard to this next tournament because the most disappointing uh, tournament of, of this game for me was X Games actually and it was we got a decent placing and I was just so disappointed because I felt like we could have gotten a medal and I'm just I really want to win a medal this next one but um, going down the list or medal I really want to you know place higher this next one 
I'm going down the list. Um, who else made it? Or who made it into the league? All right, so we got Optic Nation. We got ISO. We got um, Orbit. And who was the last one? Optic Nation, ISO, Orbit, and I don't think it was Synergy. No. All right, well, let's just talk about them for a second. If it comes to mind, I'll, I'll talk about the other teams. Orbit, um, Burns, Accuracy, Facento, and um, Happy. I think that's a very solid team. Happy is a great bow. Burns is solid as hell in this game. Facento knows what he has to do to win matches. And then, um, <clears throat> who I did not talk about? Accuracy. He plays a shit ton. So that team will be pretty, will be pretty solid, um, especially, I mean, they're good online, and they're even better online, so they should definitely do well in the league. This might be the toughest league thus far. Uh, there's a lot of solid rosters, so I'm really expecting uh, Orbit to play really well in this league for once. Um, I think Burns deserves it, and I think they're going to definitely play well. Um, ISO, um, I never played them, so I can't really talk about them, but, but from what I hear, they're amazing online. They're like one of the best online teams. Um, and apparently they're going to qualify with ease. That's what I've, people have been telling me, and these are pros telling me this. So um, it's going to be kind of weird. Uh, some teams might not make it in, so it's 22-game league. You're going to have to perform really, really, really good to make it into this league. Um, the next team, uh, let's see, so I went over ISO. Oh, Optic Nation. Um, Optic Nation, solid squad. I hung out with them all weekend. Um, they probably have... The most to work on out of all the teams that qualified, of all four teams, and um, they are definitely going to have to step it up to perform in the league. Um, I think that they're a good team, but I think that they have some things to work on. But we'll see um, how, how it happens. I mean, like like I said, you can never predict what's going to happen in the league. You never know. And uh, with all these changes and stuff, any team can come out on top. And uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. But yeah, that's kind of my take on uh, some of the rosters that have been changed around, flopped, and who's been make, who's, who made the right decisions, who I think made the wrong decisions, and how these teams are going to perform. Um, other than that, a lot of the changes that have been made have been outside of the league, like Aix and Teeper teaming again, Parasite joined E6, and um, those are just some of the changes that have happened outside of the league that don't really impact much um, unless they go to Gfinity. But yeah, so that's kind of my take on this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, roster changes can be a good thing, but they can also be a bad thing. Um, but no team has ever replaced fifth, fourth, third, uh, consistently, and then randomly won. It's never happened like that. And I've seen somebody tweet, I think Cap was tweeting about this. So you guys have to understand that roster changes need to be welcomed in our community sometimes. And uh, it's, it's warranted, especially you guys don't know some things that happen uh, between teammates. And yeah, so it needs to happen sometimes. And some people don't like to air all their dirty laundry out. So um, there's just some reasons that people can't team together and stuff like that, and you guys may never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I'm going to be more consistent, and we'll be back with a new video tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.